Top 10 Amazing Facts About the Lost City of Atlantis Rather than the land we live in, what seems strange to us is the ocean, which is home to many myths, legends and mysteries. Lost cities, hidden treasures, mystic ships are all part of the alluring marine world. Of all these, the lost city of Atlantis tops the list. The lost city of Atlantis first mentioned by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato more than 2,300 years ago, is known as one of the oldest and greatest mysteries of the world. According to Plato, the utopian island kingdom existed some 9,000 years before his time and mysteriously disappeared one day. Even after years of research, the exact truth about this city has not been found and that adds even more to all the folklores attached with it. Where is Atlantis, the mysterious location? The narration suggested that the city is believed to have sunk into the sea after an earthquake or tsunami. According to him, the so-called Atlantis was a large island located near the Rock of Gibraltar and consisted of a Poseidon temple and concentric walls and canals. Plato added that the city under the sea should have been somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. While some theories suggested that the Atlantis is located in the Mediterranean, off the coast of Spain, few also argue that it could be even under Antarctica. For a long time, Azores was believed to be the site of the city of Atlantis. Questions like where are Atlantis or does it even exist for real are still unanswered. But until the truth beneath it can be completely unraveled, the world will continue speculating about the existence of the greatest city of all times. Agreeing with Plato over the size of the island, Tertullian, an early Christian author who believed that Atlantis really once existed in the Atlantic Ocean, said it would be bigger than today's Libya and Asia combined. Since many others proposed the location of the city of Atlantis in the Mediterranean Sea, narrations have come out scaling the size of the city to Crete, Greece's largest island. However, in many stories after Plato's era, the Atlantis was described as a giant city, missing anything specific about the size of the city. Legend says that the Atlantis city was built by Poseidon the god of sea, of storms and earthquakes when he fell in love with a mortal woman Cleto. According to the story, Poseidon walked through the world in an effort to find the biggest island until he reached the biggest of them all Atlantis and found it to be inhabited by people who were more beautiful and intelligent than the rest of the world. It was then he fell in love with Cleto when he finds her on the island. The fable tells that Cleto had five pairs of twin sons with Poseidon, the eldest of which was named Atlas. The ten sons inherited the great city and the first child, Atlas became the first ruler of Atlantis. However, it is believed they also built a huge temple for their father with a giant statue of Poseidon riding a chariot carried by winged horses. The fertile and beautiful city of Atlantis, where half god and half human beings lived, is believed to have been a self-sufficient region where people grew their own food and reared animals. Stories also claim that the original inhabitants of the lost city of Atlantis are believed to be of extraterrestrial origin who reached there about 50,000 years ago from the Lyrian star system. Despite being much taller and fairer than today's average human being, the average lifespan of these people is believed to have been 800 years, making them really robust and strong prototype of the existent human race then. As some claim that the lost city of Atlantis was on Mars, or was just a colony of an alien civilization, the inhabitants of the Atlantis city are believed to have the possessors of exceptional powers such as the ability to control the weather, modify volcanic eruptions. Even though the myth says that the inhabitants of Atlantis city were superior beings, there are some of the opinions that it is just a mythical representation of a barbaric fashion of life. While many still consider the lost city of Atlantis is just a legend, there are many conspiracy theories doing the rounds suggesting that the fable is actually based on real events.